Hi folks, this is Dr. Don. I want to show you how to use the Excel data analysis histogram tool. I'm not going to give you all the background information here on how I set this up. Here's the data that I have. It's a, a matrix of a number of points. I don't know how many and it said response time in minutes as customer calls. I've gone ahead and, and done this preliminary work, found the minimum, maximum. From that I got the range, number of bins we were given by the problem. I wanted 10 and using that information you get the bin width and then I round that off to two decimal places. Once I get the bin width and I need 10 bins, I set the lower limit at 0.91, add the bin width to get the upper limit, and then complete this uh, setup. So we have this information. Now let's use the data analysis tool to get the histogram. We click on data, analysis, bring up our dialog box, histogram, click OK. We've got to give it the input range. I want to clear out what was there. And my input range is this matrix over here get that all selected my bin range clear that again delete they want the upper limit of the bins and we don't have labels my output I'm going to want that again and I want to select that cell there to get the tabular data on this particular example I'm going to get the histogram so I need to check the chart output and also I want the cumulative percentage which you may find on some of your assignments and that's all I need I click OK and we get this information I'm going to move things over a bit here expand a bit here's the rough histogram we've got our bins the frequency in each bin and then the cumulative frequency now I'm going to make this bigger so you can see it and again, this is a rough histogram, but we've got our cumulative frequency plotted as well on a secondary axis, which is helpful. What we need to do is to clean this up to get rid of the gaps. Remember, a histogram is for continuous data, which does not have gaps. This is just a column chart that Excel defers to. We left click on one of the data points and then right click to get format data series. And we need to remove the gap which corrects that problem. Let's click over here to the border and I want a solid line and I want it to show up so I'm going to select black. And so that has created our rough histogram. You can go on in the other videos to learn how to change the information that's presented on the bin axes, but this is the basics of it and you can, can uh, fine tune it from there. So I hope this helps. <music>